All right, guys, this is David, a.k.a. Reverse Long with the Friendly Bear Book Club. Now I'm going to go into, today we're going to cover all of Steve Neeson's books. I have uh, all th I have three of his books, uh, in my opinion, the most important ones, of um, The Japanese Candlesticks. And, uh, yeah, let's start that. Okay, so this, one, this we're going to cover, okay, so The Japanese Candlesticks. I have The Japanese Candlestick Charting Techniques book. Uh... It's a must. You know, the, the thing is, too, that he, I've seen this one online. I've seen it, that one, this one, online for free. Uh, you know, if they have it as a PDF, you know, like you want the hardcover. I like physical books. I don't mind spending money on books. But, um, you know, it, in the beginning, though, it did, I did my first version of it was a PDF version. You know, in the beginning, when you're, you're, when you're just getting, setting your foot in the door, you, uh, you want to minimize your expenses as you learn i wasn't even in any courses but uh you know it's it's crazy there there is free material out there and if you really uh want to learn you can find a way to learn you know what i mean um too many times people come to me online on twitter uh instagram or properly whatever and uh i give them these free things to go over i say hey when you're done with this come back and they don't even complete the free stuff, you know? So people don't value um, stuff that they don't pay for. It's like, it's like paper trading, you know? You got to have skin in the game. So I don't know, but it is, it's it's out there for free, just like Tim's book uh, on American Hedge Fund is there for free, you know? So these are quality books, uh, and you should learn them. You know, the thing about candlesticks, too, candlesticks are a must. You got to know candlesticks. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't go super hardcore with them but i know my i know my candlesticks i know my technicals you know what i mean that's something you gotta have down uh steve neeson he's the number one guy for it you know what i mean so like i devoured all his stuff um he has three books okay so the, the one i just mentioned japanese candle charting techniques candlestick charting techniques beyond candlesticks this one's a little more expensive. This one's you can't. I don't think you can find a PDF of this one for free. And finally, the candlestick course. This one, um, I recommend this one third after after you complete those two. And you know, it's like I like to. So I I, I came with an architecture background, you know. And you gotta like use what you whatever you can relate trading with. You know, go for it. If it whatever makes it easier for you. I know, like Stephen Ducks. He has an engineering background. He approaches trading with an engineering kind of sense. With with architecture, the reason why I say that is like, you know, an architect is like the conductor of a symphony. It's like, you know, he has to know a lot about a lot of things. And I like to view trading like that. So I, I'll take the news. I'll take the candlesticks. I'll take uh, technicals, um, you know, uh, data, SEC filings. I like to combine all these things and paint a, a picture in my, uh, as I'm doing it. It's like Tom Brady looking at the plays and putting all the video and everything together all at once while he's getting blitzed. And now he's, you know, that's that's how I see trading. And uh, so you got to have your candlesticks down, you know. That's like one of the things you got to know. And so I devoured these these three books. Um, I love them, you know. Like, they're great. So, like, the red one, Beyond Candlesticks. It's just like a, a secondary version of the first one. They're kind of identical. I thought at first it was the same book. I was really confused when I was ordering it at first, like brand new. I was like, is that the same book? Is, is, I thought it was just one book. But no, this is a totally different one. Um, you know, it covers all the all the candlesticks. And then the candlestick course, this one's great. This one's great. I saw this recently on audio. I was like, how do they have that on audio? But I guess they have it on audio now. You know, this one's great because it's like it quizzes you. It's it's actually like a course. So like you'll go over um, all the patterns and then it, it quizzes you. And then it has like the answers at the end of the book and it goes over the answers, you know. And, um, you know, it's great because you got to know your you got to know your candlesticks, you know, As, and this is for all types of trading. You know, I think Neeson traded uh, or like, you know, he was advising or something for commodities and other other stuff futures and stuff like that so like it but it applies for everything and like you know like i i use it a lot as, as far as like i'll look at like the um multiple time frames i'll use uh 
like minute charts, 10 minute chart, 15 minute charts, daily charts, and I'll just come make a paint a picture of, of what the stock is doing, like from the information uh, from the candlesticks. You know, it's, it's one source of really good information. But anyway, um, Neeson came up with the whole candlestick thing uh, in like, I think in 1987, he, he had a, a, a Japanese, he became acquainted with a Japanese broker. So the J Jap Japan was really like, um, there was really, uh, they didn't, we, how do you say, um, it was really like, Japan was isolated as far as their, their whole trading and all that kind of stuff. And the candlestick, but they were using candlesticks for a long time, for, for a long time. They used to, tr like, all types of trading, even, like, rice back in the days. They actually used to trade with, like, physical strings and, and stuff, like, actual candlesticks, like a wick. They, they came up with the whole candlestick thing because they were trading for hundreds of years. So, anyway, Steve, uh, Steve Neeson, the author, became acquainted with a Japanese broker one day in 1987 and started getting curious about, like, the you know, the chart, the chart books. So he, he saw one of their chart books. And he, so he is the, the pioneer of this. He brought the J Japanese candlestick, uh, to the, to the whole West, you know? So all these, so he is the guy, he's the guy that brought it over. He's the one that, that discovered the candlesticks. So even like the brokers right now, they're all using candlesticks. You know, that's one, one way you can view the charts is through candlesticks. It's because of this guy, Steve Neeson. And, um, yeah, I think he's still teaching, actually. So he came up with the whole system of, like, being a market technician. You can join the association. You can get a test. And you can actually become, uh, I, I don't know the exact term of it, but you can become a, a certified technician. And then, like, brokers and stuff like that, they'll, they'll hire you to be one of the guys there. So, and I, I know they have a whole association. In fact, when I was first starting out reading this and I was, like, you know, learning, uh, I was like, no, maybe I should get that, that uh, technician certificate but no you don't really you don't need any of that but um you know it's just really cool uh you got okay so chapter four this is the first book the, the the first book is actually the most important one so you got like reversal patterns it's crazy this is just timeless you know it goes over every evening star hanging man evening star it's like you know it's just stuff you gotta know um you know, it just goes over and over. Harami Cross, Tweezers, Top of... You know, a lot of the stuff you don't... Like, I don't really need to know for the way I trade, but I, it's, you gotta... You know, it's good to be aware of it. And, you know, it's just speaking... It's like speaking a language. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it's just a lot of stuff. So just you just gotta go over it. You know, go over it. You don't need to become perfect with it. So, like, there, like any book, you get a few takeaways. So, like, I got a, a few takeaways from this, and I just read through the stuff that I don't really need to, you know, that I'm not really too crazy about. I don't really need to know too much. But, like, right here, I like I like the Gravestone Dojis. I use that a lot. I need to, when I see it, I recognize it. I'm aware, and I know, and I know how to play it accordingly, you know? So, like, like Rickshaw Man, I don't really do that. But, like, you know, Spinning Tops, you got to know this stuff. Doji, you know, it just it solidifies everything. You know, um, a lot of stuff there, a lot of good stuff. Eight minutes, two minutes more. Yeah, decided to do three books in this one. All right, and then, um, and I get all my books used, you know, so it's in, it's still expensive. I think this one's was still like 60, 70 bucks, 100 bucks, something like that. But um, totally worth it. I like, you know, it's for the collection too. This, this is like timeless books, like they're not gonna, and you can always refer back to them like I'm doing right now. I just flip through them. Um, and this one just goes further in depth than the first one. Um, you know, congestion band. You got to know that. Uh, oh, yeah, it, I, I missed it. But when, when he got introduced uh, by the Japanese broker, the, the way, so like the Japanese broker is like, oh, look, a window. So a window is like an open spot in between, like, you know, from the gap up or whatever. And he was able to spot and like, he was like, oh, wow, that makes a lot of sense. So he... He, he uh, was like, I gotta, I gotta see, explore more. So he, there's a lot of Japanese patterns that are relevant to the West, and uh, there, you know, that, that's why he brought the Japanese candlesticks over. So you, we can use those patterns into what, into the way uh, our markets work. So very interesting. The course book was my favorite one. After reading this, I read the other two like a couple times. So yeah, and then the rest is just like reference. 
But the course book is great because like you get to see your score and see, okay, do I really know this stuff? And you quiz yourself as you go. Very simple book, very straightforward. It's a light, you can take it anywhere and like study it, you know? Good stuff. Good stuff. But yeah, you gotta check out Steve Neeson. Um, what else do I got over here? Any notes? Oh, it's translated in 11 languages. He has an MBA in finance and investments. Yeah, that's about it. So Steve Neeson. Go check him out. Maybe I'll, you know, I wish I could interview this guy. But uh, maybe one day. But yeah, thank you for listening to the Friendly Bear Book Club.